Dear viewers, greetings. In this present video, we are going to discuss about the transport of various clinical specimens. The specimens to be sent to other laboratories requires a special attention for the safe packaging of the materials. Uh, for hand carried uh, transportation over a short distance, the specimen should be placed upright in the appropriate rack and for a long distance transportation, uh, it should be placed in three containers. The first container is called as primary container, the second container is called as secondary container and the third container is called as tertiary container. The first container is a primary container uh, which has the specimen and his leak proof with a screw cap. The second container is a secondary container which is durable, waterproof and made of metal or plastic with a screw cap. It should have enough absorptive material to absorb the contents of the uh, primary container uh, should the lighter break or leak. On its outside, the details of the specimen should be pasted. The third container is the treasury container and it is uh, usually made of wood or cord boards. It should be capable of withstanding the shocks and trauma of transportation. Uh, dry ice can be kept between this and the secondary container along with the sufficient absorbent and provision for the escape of carbon dioxide to prevent a pressure build which is present inside. And next, uh, general precautions for the transport of clinical specimens. Uh, most specimens should be processed in the laboratory within 1 to 2 hours after collection. In practice, a 2 to 4 hours time limit is probably more practical during a normal working day. The laboratory must be organized to permit processing of the specimens as soon as they arrive and the collection of most specimens should be limited to the working hours of the laboratory. Uh, some arrangements must be made to allow for the initial handling of the few specimens that have to be collected outside of the laboratory working hours. A continuous efforts must be made in order to ensure proper collection and transportation of the clinical specimens. A full cooperation of nursing staffs and other concerned with the specimen collection is required and can be achieved once they are made away of the principles involved and the significance of what they are being asked to do. And next we will discuss the list of uh, some of commonly used transport medium. The first medium is a carry and blyer medium. Uh, it is a semi-solid white colored transport medium for the feces that may contain Salmonella species, Shigella species, Vibrio species or Campylobacter species. The second medium is Amy's medium with charcoal. The presence of charcoal in this medium uh, helps to eliminate the metabolic products of bacterial growth which may be especially useful in the isolation of uh, phosphorus organism. The third medium is Amy's medium without charcoal. Uh, this medium is ideal for the isolation of the cell wall lacking bacterium, mycoplasma species and urea plasma species. Uh, the fourth transport medium is uh, Stewart's medium. Uh, the Stewart medium is commonly used for transporting the specimen sus suspect of having the gonococci or Neisseria gonorrhea. And this Stewart's medium is also used for transporting uh, throat, vaginal, wound and skin swabs that may contain the phosphorus organism. The fifth transport medium is Venget Roman Romocristian medium or VR medium. This VR medium is used to transport the feces from the suspected cholera patients who are affected with the Vibrio cholerae infections. And the sixth transport medium is Sachs Buffered Glycerol Saline. And this is used to transport the feces from patients uh, suspected to, to be suffering from the bacillary dysentery caused by Shigella dysentery. The seventh transport medium is viral transport medium. The viral transport medium is ideal for the diagnosis of viral infections. Uh, ocular, respiratory and tissue saps can be submitted in this medium. Uh, fluid samples such as uh, tracheal wash specimens or peritoneal fluid should be submitted as it is uh, in sterile vials which prevents the dedication or the extreme dryness. Uh, bacterial transport media are not appropriate for the virology. And finally, uh, the eighth transport medium is anaerobic transport medium. 
uh, it is a mineral salt uh, base semi solid medium with uh, reducing agents uh, designed as a holding medium for maintaining the viability of anaerobic bacteria and it contains the buffered mineral salts in a semi solid medium with uh, sodium thioglycolate and an amino acid cysteine added to uh, provided a reduced environment a resorcerin dye may also be added as a redox indicator uh, to reveal exposure to oxygen by turning pink uh, it also provides an environment uh, which maintains the viability of most microorganisms without significant multiplication and allows for dilution of inhibitors present in the clinical material the example for this anaerobic transport medium is uh, thioglycolate broth dear viewers thank you for your support thank you